Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. So when working with panda warmers, one of the most vital things that they do is they, they weigh the baby. And the reason you want to do that is because babies are very known for losing weight very quickly after they're born. So you want to monitor that weight loss, either because of dehydration, because you are heating them up and that could accelerate dehydration, or just because they eat and poop. And by doing so, they're going to lose body weight very quickly. Their metabolism is just skyrocketing. So the way that they monitor it is they weigh the baby. And these things are fantastic. They're very accurate. However, you can do calibrations. So we're going to show you guys how to go ahead and do a calibration. We're going to use a five kilogram weight. So that's 5,000 grams. And let's go ahead and run it. So let's go ahead. All right. So in order to do it, we have to enter calibration mode, which is going to be the question mark and then the alarms and go ahead and flick it on. Here are the two beeps and you let go and your Panda is going to go into service menu, which is really cool. So we have operation settings, we have scale calibration, date, time, um, diagnostics and set defaults. So if you guys have daylight savings, you're gonna go into date time. During your PMs, always make sure that your date and time is correct. But uh, we're gonna be concerned with the scale. So let's go ahead, and go ahead and scale. Now, we don't have to go through the uh, patient treatment menus in order to test out the scale. We can actually do that from in here because you can see that there's manual calibration and there's check weight. So go ahead and go to check weight. There you go. All right, so it's saying press enter to start the weigh cycle. And here's the thing is this is an extremely accurate scale. In fact, they're so accurate that you hardly ever have to do a calibration. However, um, we are going to let it run and it does its tear. So there we go. Okay. So it initialized it teared and then it says put in a weight. Take a look at that weight is 5,000 grams. So this guy here, it knows how much it is, but let's say it's off by 10, 20, 30, 100 grams. So go ahead and hit it. Manual calibration, select, and mind you, we have the weight off the scale so it can zero out. And you can here set your calibration value. So we've got 5,000 grams, so go ahead and hit enter telling you to remove the weight so make sure there's no cables or anything dangling on it because this guy is a gram scale it can it can measure down to the gram and let's see it's gonna say press enter to start the cal so it's going to tear up the scale which means it's gonna zero it. it says apply the test weight which we already told it it's going to be 5k enter and now it is doing a calibration. So if you are within value, it will say calibration successful. Remember to save, press save, to enter those values. And now that the scale is calibrated, the first thing that you should always do is test it. So let's go ahead and go into check weight. There you go, and check weight, enter. All right. And we are going to go through and do the exact same verification. You put the 5K on there and test it. So it's not a complex process, but it is something that should be done. And you can calibrate it at other values, 4,000 uh, grams. You got 5,000 grams and, I don't know, one kilogram, something like that. But the important thing is that it is an extremely sensitive scale. Make sure that there are no cables or anything dragging across it. Make sure that your panels and everything are up in their upright position and uh, then check your values after you do a calibration just to be sure that um, the calibration took correctly. So thanks for watching guys.